Should I remove potato fruit? Why potato plants have berries? GrowerExperts.com Not surprisingly, as tomatoes and potatoes are both members of the same genus, they both produce berries. After flowering, some potato plants produce green fruits about the same size as cherry tomatoes, each containing hundreds of tiny seeds. But while we eat the fruit of tomato plants, the berries of potatoes are poisonous, so they're not edible. Besides tasting very bitter and unpleasant, potato fruit contains solanine, a mild toxin. After eating them you may experience abdominal pain, diarrhea, or headache. Inside, each berry contains up to about 300 true potato seeds, although many varieties produce much smaller amounts. Only a small percentage of modern potato varieties are reliable flowerers. But wild potatoes often produce a much greater yield of berries than tubers. This means that the male sterile varieties will not produce berries unless there is another fertile variety nearby that can pollinate them. If you're growing multiple varieties of potato in the same garden, you may notice more berries as your plants have likely cross-pollinated. Whenever spring and summer weather has been unseasonably cool, potato plants are more likely to produce berries. Potato flowers and fruit are produced because this is how the plants naturally multiply themselves, by seed. In most years, July and early August are hot and dry months, so usually the flowers will dry up and fall from the plant without setting fruit. Cooler weather during long summer days, and a decent amount of rain or humidity will allow the flowers to remain, pollinate and grow into small potato fruit. But most of the time, the flowers on a potato plant are not fertilized, and the plant does not produce any fruit. Most large-scale potato farmers don't prune the fruit from their potato crops, even with varieties that fruit heavily, since the cost of the work involved would exceed the value of the difference in yield. The easiest way to harvest the berries and extract the seeds is to wait until the berries ripen and fall of the plant and then collect them off the ground. Any berry with at least a half-inch diameter probably contains viable seeds, but the seeds will become larger and produce better seedlings if they're left to mature as long as possible. Once picked, you should let the berries ripen until they are soft to the touch before extracting the seeds. You see, all new potato varieties are grown from seeds, which may also be called true potato seeds, TEPS or botanical seeds to distinguish them from seed tubers. The easiest way to separate the seeds is to mash the ripe berries and put the resulting mix into a glass of water. As a general rule, you don't need to remove potato fruit, unless you're worried that someone may inadvertently eat enough to poison themselves. I hope you found that helpful, any questions let me know in the comments. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video.